everyone doing? I'm back here for a new video and in this video is going to be the first part of me showing off my entire Halloween and Michael Myers collection. I always enjoy doing new updated videos of my collection just to show you guys you know my collection every year um, and Halloween has always been my favorite horror franchise and I always love collecting you know different editions of the movies uh, pretty much everything that I uh, I can find. I absolutely love Halloween, the entire series. Michael Myers to me is my all-time favorite uh, horror icon and I also love Halloween 3 as well. So in this part I'm just going to be showing off all the Blu-ray, DVD, and VHS releases that I have of the franchise. I also have a couple of t-shirts as well as a couple comic books and a magazine as well. So I'm not going to waste any time talking. I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I have all my different editions of the films laid out here on the bed as you can see all right so the first thing i'm going to show is the halloween the 15 disc deluxe edition complete collection this is an absolutely amazing set i absolutely love this set um ever since it came out it was just one set that i wanted to own it was the, the my probably my most wanted blu-ray box set of any franchise and I originally didn't think I was going to get it, but I was so happy that it, to own it. Um, of course, it has all the films in there. It's got the producer's cut of Halloween 6. It also has Rob Zombie's films, which, you know, I am a fan of Rob Zombie's first Halloween film. Not a big fan of his second one, but, you know, overall, I think that this is, a, this is an amazing box set. And then we have the Halloween, the 35th Anniversary Edition Digibook. As I've said in past uh, videos where I've shown off my Halloween collection, um, when I first got this, I wasn't a huge fan of the cover. But, you know, now that I've owned this, I do I do think it's a pretty cool cover. Um, it's just something cool and, and unique. Um, I like how the, uh, you know, the Blu-ray banner at the top is orange. And this is just a really nice release. And then this is the... Uh, 35th anniversary UK steelbook that I got um, from uh, two really cool uh, friends of mine, uh, Gary and uh, Steve, who uh, sent this to me, as well as the next item you guys are about to see. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice steelbook. Um, they have it in the pl in this plastic to keep it nice and protected. Um, I can't watch this because you know it's a UK release and I only have a US uh, Blu-ray player, but I just I just love it. You know, it's just a great collector's item. And then this is also something else that uh, Steve sent me. Steve Bennett, or Steve Horror on YouTube. If you guys want to check him out. Uh, this is the Halloween 2, the uh, German hard box. Which is very, very cool. Um, I don't, you know, collect uh, German hard boxes because there's just no way for me to, um, to get them, really. Um, you know, with shipping and things like that. Um, you know, they're pretty expensive. Um, but he got this for me, sent this one for me, along with the, the Steelbook, and um, it's just really, really cool. Um, it also comes with a DVD of the 25 Years of Terror documentary. So yeah, very, very cool edition. All right, and now we're going to move on to all the different DVD editions. Um, this first one, I kind of call this the, the standard release. This is the kind of release that you would see, like, at Walmart. You know, it's, it's, um, it's, got, a, it's got a nice slip cover, nice and shiny, and, you know, the... Uh, the knife and the eyes right here are embossed and the title is nice and shiny but this is just a, a you know a regular Anchor Bay release of the film slide it off and then there's the you know like I said nothing nothing too special about this release but I like it because this seems to be the type of release that like I said when it was available on DVD at Walmart this would usually be like the type of release that you would see at places like Walmart or Kmart and then we have the 25th anniversary edition which is a pretty nice edition it's got some nice special features uh including the uh, cut above the rest documentary it's got a commentary with uh john carpenter jamie lee curtis and producer Je deborah hill as well as a lot of other uh special features and it's got a nice thick booklet in it as well so it's a really nice release then uh, this release of halloween 2 which is a pretty weird release it has uh different images from like, as you can see, there's like the image of Michael standing over to Banister from the original Halloween. You got uh, Donald Pleasance and Jamie Lee Curtis right there. You got the car exploding from Halloween 2. And then on the back, there's an image of Michael's mask from 
uh, curse of Michael Myers, which is all I thought was always weird. This is a, a Good Times DVD release, and it's just such a a weird release, but I think it's also very cool. It's got a nice, um, you know, open it up. It's got some pretty cool images inside. And then on the disc, once again, there's that image of Michael's mask from uh, Curse, which I always thought was I always thought was weird, but at the same time, cool. You know, I think this is a just a it's a unique release. There's really nothing special about it. It's just a movie in widescreen. Um, there's real there's no special features, but I like it because of the artwork. And then we just have the standard, a universal DVD release of Halloween 2. And then the Scream Factory release of Halloween 2 on DVD. And I didn't get around to getting this on Blu-ray because I have the uh, the 15 disc uh, box set. So I really didn't need to uh, I really didn't need to pick up another Blu-ray Blu release of uh, the Scream Factory. Um, I also did not pick up the um, the Screen Factory release of Halloween 3 because like I said I already have the set. I do have the regular Universal DVD release of it. Sorry about that glare. There's a there's a window right behind me. And then we have Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers, the Divimax Special Edition, one of my favorite films in the franchise. This was one of the first sequels I saw after the first one and it's always been one of my favorites. Next up, Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers. You know, after watching this recently, um, I do think that there are a lot of great moments in this one. It's overall my least favorite of the original eight movies, but I do think it's got some great moments. And then we have Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. It's the regular DVD release. We got Halloween H2O. Halloween Resurrection and the 25 Years of Terror documentary which I really do enjoy and the last Blu-ray release is the uh, the Curse of Michael Myers is the unrated producers cut the standard Blu-ray release now we're moving on to the VHS releases uh, this first one is this old uh, Anchor Bay release from 1997 or 8 I believe and then this is the restored collector's edition with the holographic or the lenticular cover. And this also comes with a kind of a cool uh, Jamie Lee Curtis postcard in it as well. Um, this has the documentary Halloween Unmasked 2000 on it. And we got the Blockbuster exclusive release, which I really like. I really like the cover art for it. And then the Blockbuster release of Halloween 2. These were both released by Good Times. And then we have just like the, the DVD release, the, the universal release of Halloween 2. And then I have two copies of this release of Halloween 3. Um, once again, I believe these are, this is the Blockbuster exclusive uh, Good Times release. I know that this release of Halloween 3 and then this release of Halloween 1 and 2 were also released in a box set. That, were that was available at Blockbuster. Um, this is the same release. It just has some water damage. Then we have Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. I love the original artwork, or the poster art for Halloween 4. And then this is the Anchor Bay Clamshell Halloween 4. Up next we have Halloween 5, Anchor Bay Clamshell. And then the Anchor Bay slip cover or slip case of Halloween 5. Then we have Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, H2O. And finally, Resurrection. And I never bothered to get um, Rob Zombie's Halloween. I don't even think it even got a VHS release. Now I'm going to move over here and show off the two comic books. I'm not a comic book collector, but I am a Halloween collector. And I got these at a comic book store. Um, this first one is called Halloween Night Dance. They all have really, really great artwork in them. And then this one is the first death of Laurie Strode. This is number one of three. I would eventually like to find more of these, but that comic book store I got these from ended up um, closing down. And I don't really go online to find these or... 
Then I have this revolver magazine that has a behind the scenes look of Rob Zombie's Halloween. It's pretty cool. And the last two things I'm going to show are the two t-shirts. Um, this first one um, kind of is uh, Michael's face on it and it kind of has the image from Halloween uh, 5 in a way. It just has this kind of yellowish thing sort of going down it, which I'm not a huge fan of, but I still think it's a cool shirt. And then the last shirt is, you know, the classic, you know, original poster from original Halloween. There we go. I mean, it's actually a lot. There we go. That might that might look a little bit better. Anyway, guys, that is it. That is part one of my complete Halloween and Michael Myers collection. Um, part two will follow shortly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about my Halloween collection. Um, and and if you have a big Halloween collection, why not do a video and send it to me? I would love to see other Halloween collections here. I've been watching. Uh, videos of people showing off their Halloween collections for years and I know that there's a lot of other much bigger uh, collections out there on YouTube um, but yeah I would love to see more so if you have a big Halloween collection feel free to show it to me anyway guys thanks everyone for watching thanks for subscribing let me know what you guys think about my collection part two will be up shortly and I'll see y'all later